Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. Also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. The link to my Patreon will be listed in my description box below. You can, all, you can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title and why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God. Okay. I'm Chan, okay. I'm seeing that everyone that you've engaged with sexually wants you back or wants to do it again. We have the lover's energy, but it's not like, oh, like I crave this person's intimacy or sexual energy. It's more like possessiveness that I'm channeling here, especially with the lover's energy. It's like, You are seen as some form of, these people see as like an end all, be all energy. Like they don't want anyone else sexually because you satisfy them to the extent that is beyond what they know sexually. It's like you have literally men of your past, women of your past. Take it out, applies for your reality, but they have never stopped stalking you here lurking because they are addicted to you in that way but it's not pretty it's not like oh you when you exchange your sexual energy with these people because of your spiritual power that has to do with your frequency your vibration your wavelength when they experience you it's an experience unlike no other therefore it's like poof like Oh my God, like I, I, I never thought sex could feel like this. I never thought intimacy could get this way. Or I never thought like this could have me feeling like this. It's like there is a way in which it happens that because it affects them the way it does, it does something to their brain. Like it does something to the brain, like something snaps because it's like it's like a psycho gene or psychosis gene 
right? G E N E. It's like within the DNA, within their mind, something snaps because you unlock that psycho gene or psychosis gene. Hence the stalking, lurking, hence being addicted to you in this way. Yeah, this is really deep, beloved. Okay, this is not something to, you know, boast about, be proud about. This is real life stuff because your life can be in danger or jeopardy. You thinking that it's all fun and games or it's all la di da di da. You know, you have someone here of your past this is the people of your past that go deep within themselves thinking of ways to experience you sexually again it's like they literally go so deep within themselves trying to think of ways to experience your sexual energy again like that's all they think about that's all they go within themselves about they think about this even in places that they are in that they shouldn't be thinking about sex at all like someone being at a, uh, a meeting at work and they thinking about your sexual energy. Someone being around family, friends, but they thinking about your sexual energy. It's like it follows them. It's like it haunts them. They take it to bed as well. They have problems when it comes to you, beloved. Like <sighs> I'm hearing this line from a song Nicki um, Minaj has this song I don't know the title wait if I think hard enough I'll probably remember but like in this line she says like this poom poom kitty cat has these people on some special meds right whether she's using it figuratively as an idiom or whatever really you know how i'm channeling it here is like um actual reality it's like once you engage with these people's sexual energy and they engage with yours the experience is not the same because their energetic currency spiritual currency right is not on your level so they can't take you there, but you can take them there. There being the level that they've never experienced before. When I say they have a problem when it comes to you, like something is wrong. They know that. Like these people are hiding the fact that like you are haunting them or your sexual energy. This is all they think about, like flashbacks or memories or like voices that they 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 associate with like being with you sexually they, there's so much like someone can literally be watching something one of these people they can be watching something and they 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 maybe someone something will always remind them of you and your sexual energy here you took them somewhere where they've never been sexually with anyone and they've never experienced it because no one has that capacity to take them there. Your vibration, your wavelength, your frequency houses a certain spiritual currency, houses a certain energetic currency. You're able to, like, literally, it's like the waters run deep. Yeah. It's more than satisfaction or pleasure. It's like, I don't know. I don't want to say that. We have the sun here. It's like these people are now coaching other people on what to do with them sexually, with you in mind, like in remembrance of you, like she does this, he does. And they, 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 it's all within them. Like this is all within. This is inside. This is something they don't show, obviously. These are people you've long moved on from. Like you've been over 
it or just done like they don't mean anything to you it means nothing to you like that's the thing you can move on in this way and having experienced these people sexually it's like it's not life changing or it's like you know we had what we had whatever like you know but to them they see it differently they're like man i ain't never gonna get this anywhere else and it's more than just i ain't never gonna get this anywhere else it's like i want to go there again i want to be taken there again it's like <sighs> beloved the psycho gene psychosis gene it leads them there because they can't have access to your energy in this way they they they, they lose it like they become psycho like these exes are psychotic it's like you you healing you moving on you crazy like they are psychotic not of swords like they just want to come into your energy and just say whatever to experience you like that again they want to see you they want to you know just do all types of things here just to get into your energy like that again but they know they can't like it doesn't make sense to you that they want to do this because of how much healing you've done or how much evolution you've undergone like you really are not the same person that's the thing as well they're stuck with a version of you you once were literally because the person they know is not the person you are now it's a whole new different person that you are in comparison to the person that they know because unlike them you move on like you elevate you heal it's not even just about relationship or anything like in general you ascend all right you grow you don't stay the same but they do and to them you are that with the star energy it's like i can't get my mind off this person it's like you know if you look at the star energy this yellow star shines brighter than all the other stars around it right it's like that energy man they would do anything that's the thing that's where the psych the psycho the psychosis the psychotic energy comes in where they start getting creepy like things can get really strange We have Gemini energy, we have Virgo energy, we have double Sagittarius energy, double Leo energy, we have Aries energy, we have Libra energy, double, no, triple Libra energy, triple, um, Aquarius energy here. Triple Gemini energy. Double Virgo energy. It's a lot going on here. Like, I'm seeing these people, like, each of them individually are going to start being really creepy. If this has not already been happening, this is what's to come. Like, you're not going to see this one. Like, they think and feel that way. Like, to them, it's like, oh, you're going to receive them in a way of like, damn, like, you still, you still want to be with me? That means, you know, this and that. No, like, these people are going to start showing up in your reality in particular ways here, Ten of Swords, but it's ways in which it's like if i can't have you no one can like you really are in a dangerous situation you need to be careful this is not about ego or oh this is my like who gives a fuck like think logically people can be really dangerous like i'm hearing i'm seeing someone in the hospital someone like someone one of these people could literally 
want to hurt themselves just so they can call you and tell, tell you they're in the hospital just so they can be in your energy. Because like I said, you are not the same person. They don't know how to go about this. You are not who they know. It's like you're new. So it's like, how do I come towards this person? How do I experience them again? Because I don't know who they are anymore. But I know what I want. I know that 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 that, that don't change. That that thing, that that all of that. We have the nine of cups. It's like keep, these people are gonna start doing things that are very creepy. That hospital example that was just an example, an analogy, a reference point, a case study of the extent these people are willing to go. People that will drive by your, your place just so you can identify, like, oh, what are you doing? Here? You know, or like, whatever. They just want to make their way into your energy again in a way that's not going to seem creepy, but it is. It will be. Like, you will feel it in your spirit that something ain't right. You will feel it off of the energy that their intentions are filthy. All they want is to experience you sexually. They're hungry for your sexual energy. It's very filthy. You are not even who you used to be. The version of you they know is not the version you are. Death. You've evolved. You've changed. You've transformed. You've transitioned. You've ascended. There isn't anything about you that these people can associate with the version of you that they know or the version of you they're comfortable with. But they're going to try. They're going to try to do that because they don't want to acknowledge the fact that they don't even know who you are anymore, even though they don't know who you are anymore. If these people are like this towards your energy, it just says a lot about who they are in general. Like, meaning that if they're like this towards sex, what, what about money? What about clout? Like, these are people that are willing to do dangerous things for things of that nature. Things to make themselves feel good or look good or be good. They don't care what they have to do. Not a damn cup here except the nine of cups, which is the energy of just self-prophecy or self-indulging, self-pleasing, self like giving to yourself only. That's the only cup energy in here. And cup rules love. These people don't love you or care about you. They love themselves and care about themselves. And they want to please themselves using you. They want to use your sexual energy. It's not about, oh, I want to get into this person's any I love. No. It's like, I want that. And because there is no love or care, it really is dangerous. Like, these people could really, some will go into the spirit trying to get into your energy like that. Some will send you S-E-X magic here. Like, there's a lot these people are willing to do. You need to be mindful here. Just be mindful, beloved. Don't allow anyone in your energy from the past. Don't. Just don't. That's the only way to go about this. Keep moving forward. No matter how much of a kind gesture they show or how they just approach you, just know that all they want is to get into your energy again sexually because they want to feed their own things. You engage with them sexually and lose your own spiritual ranking. All of a sudden, you don't feel the same way about yourself because they went in this thing with the intention to sexually take from you. Like, they want to feel that energy again, and it's yours. So when you transfer it willingly with the intent of doing it as well, knowing what is already what they... Like, beloved, you signing yourself up for, for, for some consequences here because 
you can literally decrease your own spiritual rank. All of a sudden, you don't feel the same way about yourself. You're trained all the time. All of a sudden, the, the things of your life that were going correctly, they're no longer going correctly. Be mindful. Don't be just transferring your energy like that. Don't be allowing anybody to connect with you in that way. Know who you're allowing in your body. People just be out here looking for their own things in situations and people and places. They just want to fool up themselves. And they're willing to do all this creepy mess. It just shows like this is weird. This is psychotic. That's where the psycho gene, the psychosis gene is unlocked because like this is just psychotic behavior. They don't see the rationality of it. Like, oh, common sense. No, it's like the, all they're thinking about is sex. Back to the fact that even in their daily basis life and serious situations and circumstances, their mind just takes them somewhere else, which is sex land. We have the five of pentacles. Deprive these people of your energy. Don't give them an ounce, not even a conversation. Make sure you keep moving on, beloved. Keep looking forward, okay? You don't owe them anything. It's like you literally, you literally are being plotted against. Like a, they're predators in this energy. Like it's disgusting. They just want to feed off of your sexual energy. That's all. Once they feed it. Yeah, I'm good. Like, what is that? What have they just released that they're not okay? Thinking about you has now, it's no longer like that anymore. Thinking about the sexual energy, even in serious, it, where is that energy? Where, where did it go? Where is that demonic attachment? Be mindful. People are feeding their own things. And they're going to try and pursue you good, though. Page of Cups, you might get flowers at your door, at your work. Like, there's a lot that's going to be happening that's very, very creepy. Keep your legs closed. Keep your self, keep yourself cleansed. Stay in your body. Stay in your mind. Stay in your heart. Stay in your spirit. Keep to yourself. That is all, okay? No matter what they try and say or do, keep to yourself. They'll go away eventually, okay? They're not going to do anything to you unless you give them the access. Once you start being friendly again with someone who you haven't even spoken to for so long, or someone that you know damn well you don't even want, what do you think? Keep the doors closed. You don't care about how they feel and think. Like, they don't care how you feel and think. They just want what they want. Like, don't be, like, beloved, wake up. Don't be actually thinking, oh, they miss you so much that... People are feeding their own things. Like, they'll feed into you as well. Okay? Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This was your message from God. Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual paths. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. The link to my Patreon will be listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it will lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.